Hey everyone, welcome back to IT Proficient. Today, I'm tackling a tricky problem. I recently faced grayed out BIOS settings and the dreaded no bootable device error on my Acer laptop. I'll walk you through how this was fixed and how you can do it too. Let's dive right in. In most cases, you can fix boot issues by entering the BIOS and changing settings from UEFI to legacy or vice versa. However, in my case, the options were grayed out, meaning I couldn't navigate to make any changes. Frustrating, right? To make things worse, my laptop seemed incompatible with my hard drive but worked perfectly with an SSD. This added another layer to the mystery. Solution Step 1. Create a bootable USB using Rufus the solution started with creating a bootable USB containing Windows 10. Here's how you can do it too. Download Rufus and a Windows 10 ISO file from Microsoft's website. Insert a USB drive, minimum 8 GB. Open Rufus, select the USB drive, and load the Windows 10 ISO file. Set the partition scheme to match your system, MBR for legacy or GPT for UEFI. Click Start to create the bootable USB. Once it's done, your USB is ready to fix the laptop. Step 2. Access the BIOS and bypass grayed out settings. Next, plug the USB into your laptop and restart it. While booting, press the BIOS key. On Acer laptops, this is usually F2, but it could also be Dell or Escape depending on your model. If your BIOS settings are still grayed out, don't worry. The bootable USB allows you to reinstall Windows 10 directly, bypassing the grayed out options. Step 3. Reinstall Windows 10 To boot from the USB, enter the boot menu by pressing F12 during startup. Select the USB drive as the primary boot device and press Enter. From here, follow the on-screen instructions to reinstall Windows 10. This process replaces the corrupted software and resolves the boot issue. The installation process may take some time, but once it's done, your laptop should boot up without issues. After reinstalling Windows, my laptop was back to normal. The grayed out BIOS settings were effectively bypassed and the no bootable device error was gone. Tips and warnings. Here are a few additional tips. Check your hardware. If your laptop still doesn't boot, test it with an SSD to rule out hard drive issues. Back up your data. Always back up important files before attempting a reinstall. Use the right tools. Make sure your USB drive is formatted correctly and the Windows 10 ISO is genuine. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to IT Proficient, and drop a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.